Welcome guys, World War 3 the game is back after having received multiple improvements since its last closed beta test. But how far has this impressive tactical shooter come since I covered it last time about 10 months ago? And is it still worth playing? Let's find out. And before we get into this, let me start out by thanking World War 3 the game for sponsoring this video. But as always, all opinions about the game will be my own. As you watch through the video and feel like playing it yourself, good news, it's now free to play and you can download it directly from Steam. But let's start by setting the scene and making sure you understand what this game is about. World War 3 is a realistic tactical team-based shooter where two teams fight each other in either a 20 vs 20 conquest style game mode known as Tactical Ops or a 10 vs 10 team deathmatch. The battle takes place on maps based on real-world locations in places such as Warsaw, Berlin and Moscow, while using a wide range of weapons, vehicles, gadgets, drones, airstrikes and so on. And the wide range of weapons and tools you have at your disposal is truly the most fantastic thing about World War 3. The game modes and maps won't blow your mind, but taking a fully customized kit into battle that matches your exact playstyle will however do just that. This game has incredible gun customization and the gun models are absolutely beautiful. And my favorite thing is that guns and attachments are unlocked as you level up, which constantly gives you a feeling of progression and makes leveling up feeling super rewarding. There will always be something to work towards in this game, whether you're going for hardcore achievements or going for a full unlock of all attachments for a weapon. What you're looking at here is the unlocks for the HK417 alone, which by the way is the 7.62mm variant of the famous HK416. Yep, that's a lot. There's also a decent amount of weapons to choose from and unlock and I wouldn't be surprised to see more guns added in a future update because the developers have a lot planned for the game in the future, with regular season passes that in this game are called operations and the first operation is just around the corner. Since I played the game last, one of the biggest improvements is the vastly improved sound. This was my biggest complaint when I played it 10 months ago. Directional audio can still be better, but the current state is quite good and very playable. There's also a brand new map. This is Smolensk, a Russian town with a long embattled history. A map that sets itself apart from the other current maps in the game and fits nicely into the World War III map pool. But now, let me show you an awesome round I played on my favorite tactical ops map, Warsaw, because I think this will speak for itself as to how fun this game can be. Enjoy. Oh, right in the face. Oh, right in the face. In the body. Pistol. Okay, this is an auto pistol. All right. Was not prepared for that. Hey, okay, we're taking over. Uh, you can't have people standing up here, snipers and stuff, so you gotta be aware of that. He got attacked by, by a drone. Oh, no, no, no. Who's shooting at me? Oh, headshot. I missed. I was, that was pretty satisfying, those shots, to be honest. I might want to do that one more time. Oh, yeah, exactly. Like, you can be up here. What am I doing? Dead. Oh my god, they're getting owned! Okay, we have to go. We got multiple... Okay, I can actually use the land drone right now. I'm, I'm gonna use the land drone. I'm gonna show you how powerful this thing is.
problem is if if uh, they get a jammer on me then i can't use it at all basically and this can be destroyed by standard infantry guns as well that's one kill one guy more So this is actually not that difficult to, to destroy this drone here. Um, I use this. This is another. This is, this is basically the, how the kill streaks work, right? So I got to 1,750 points, and that allowed me to use the land drone. Oh yeah, damn! Well, they did some good damage to it. One more of those and it's over. Oh my God, no. Like it's doing a lot of damage before it got killed, right? Oh, hello there. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, that's so unlucky, guys. <laughs> They didn't see me. I was thrown right next to them. Oh, man. Pretending to be a body, exactly. Oh, my goodness. The sniper ring feels so good. didn't want any of it can i do damage to this not really now i uh, get an airstrike at seven at uh, four thousand points yeah, oh my god <laughs> oh baby Oh, that's a teammate. Up. Uh, uh, let's do a different loadout. Let's do assault, and uh, and join our friends here, right. pushing B one. You can shoot through this. This is kind of important, actually, to know. There's a nice trick here, is that enemies might come in from here. You can jump and then you can shoot through this. A really nice trick I remember. Like overall, one, one important thing. Is it... Ooh, the time to kill feels pretty good. Like it's not too fast, not too slow. Okay. You see, people are smart, right? I got naded here. I could have kept uh, picking them off like that. Deployment jammed. Okay, that's because uh, we're being jammed here. This is where they're pushing. I have an airstrike still. So a nice trick with the airstrike is obviously use it when you can see an enemy is, is taking over a base. Ooh. Him. And they're taking over a base that's in the open. Uh, right now they're just they're they're all inside. Oh, at least I got one with the grenade. I don't know. We're getting jammed, so I don't know how many I got. I got. Open fire. I've gotten a few. Hello? Uh, there's a backup. Oh my god, the move from that guy! <laughs> what a good move. I want to do that too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Seriously, get destroyed. 
Oh, he's prone there. I thought he was dead. Guys, I thought he was dead, okay. Catch the grenade in there, boys. Give me some gear now. Also that one, please. Oh my god! Okay, we're good. That guy got me again. Okay, you know how it is, guys. We need that guy. This is revenge. We're not playing around anymore. That guy is going down. And I don't care what it costs. What will I give to get this guy down? Everything. And we got him. <laughs> Why many bad reviews? Uh, I don't know. I well, the game had a lot of issues ten months ago. I know. I, I made a video, a review video as well about it, and I highlighted uh, multiple issues. Uh, but but honestly, the biggest problem was the sound. The sound has really gotten a huge improvement. Like like the sound was was really really bad, and it is it is it has gotten a big improvement. Still not perfect. I'll say that right now. But a bit, very nice improvements. So far, I've only seen improvements. Oh, yeah. It could also have been... They had a lot of server issues when they launched. The game was basically unplayable for like a few weeks. Oh, my God. Oh, he's not gonna like that one. Okay, let's go down. Let's go down to these guys. Oh. This was, um, this round here, honestly, uh, whew. One of the better rounds I've ever had in this game. Like, that's, that sniping session was just... Mwah. And then we had some really good fights here with assault rifles too. And I know... I know this was one-sided. And, and it's also very exciting when it's close. But man, it felt good kicking some butt here. I gotta be honest. Okay, that was um that was actually so Emma tough. Right here. GG guys. GG. That was so tough because we got jammed. It really the jammer is is very effective in this game. Like I've seen jammers in other games, but it doesn't feel nearly as effective as it is in this game. Like yeah, at some point I was even unsure if those were my enemies or my teammates. Like, you know, it, it, I was shooting anyway though. <laughs>